an interview with comedian slash self-styled rock star Matt Berry. Matt Berry, Chandler from Friends. That's, no. a, that's like the best guest we've ever had. Chandler from Friends is coming on. No. Incredible. Let's take a look. No, I said Matt Berry. He's English. Oh, the English guy, Nick Berry from uh, Heartbeat. Oh, yeah, I love that show. And Wixie and EastEnders. No, yeah. I think I said Matt Berry, not Nick Berry. Oh, Casey Perry. Really? <laughs> She's coming on the show? I thought she hated me. No, no, Matt. Matt Berry. So Piano ferries. How are they going to fit it through the door? We're going to have to take the wall off. Too. Matt Berry. John Terry. John Terry's coming in here. Not much of a football fan, but that's good. Matt Berry. Brian V. Brian Ferry. <laughs> okay. I know you've got a bit of a. Nah, but you're going to walk into a room with this guy and interview him. You need to know who he is, yeah? Same first name as you. Repeat after me. Matt Berry. Oh, the guy from the gadget show. Susie Perry. Got it. Hello and welcome to the Sofa Bedfordshire's best folk musician. In fact, possibly, I need to check this out, maybe only folk musician. It's a very funny man, Mr Matt Berry. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Uh, obviously, you're aware of the show, it's very exciting. How does it feel to finally be involved in Freshly Squeezed? It feels amazing. I feel very honoured to be awesome. sat here with you this morning. <laughs> Now, most people will know you for one or all of the following. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, The IT Crowd, The Mighty Boosh, uh, ADBC and Snuffbox. However, we're not here to talk about your TV and comedy work. Okay. You've got a new album out. Now, I have to ask, is it a comedy album or is it deadly serious? It's not. It's not either of those things. It's, um, I better explain. I did it for no reason and I didn't, and I kind of did it not, you know, not ever thinking that, say, we'd be here, you mm. know, kind of speaking I thought this was it. the reason. No, no, no. And, um, yeah, I did it. Someone heard it, and then they kind of gave it to Acid Jazz, the record company. Uh -huh. And then it just went from there. So the album Witch Hazel, you described it yourself as uh, a voyage into the countryside where strange things happen and barn doors go creak in the night. I never said that. Did you not say that? No, no. Where that, have I got that quote that from? Because it's quite though. specific. That is good, yeah. If you read it, then technically that is a quote, because you will have said it. So just right. go for that. There you go. It's, it's where that is one it? There. It starts with a voyage. A voyage into things that go creak in the night. There you go. Perfect. So, uh, you've been quoted as saying a voyage uh, of things that go creak in the night. Yeah. Why did you say that? I have no idea. I thought it'd sound good. I've read that a very special person makes a guest appearance on the backing vocals on the track Rain Came Down. Please say this is true and not just folklore. Right. Um, it's a bit of a difficult one for me to kind of talk about, but all I'll say about Emotionally that Emotionally or contractually? No, yeah. Um, because I had a list of four people who I wanted, you know, to kind of sing at the end of that particular song that you're referring to, and he was fourth on the list. Uh, I'm about to say who it is, Go but on. surely the clue is that he's on your album. Yeah, but you saying his name might get me into a whole bunch of nonsense. Really? Maybe. What sort of nonsense are we talking about before I d delve into it? <laughs> they could withdraw it. Ah, uh, really? I don't know. I don't really want to be that guy. Uh, Paul McCartney. You're that guy now. OK, fine, fine. That's not the name I had down here. I, uh, <laughs> what did you have down there? I actually didn't. I actually didn't. We just heard the rumours. I was never going to say anything. You've, That's a lie. If anything, you've done it to yourself. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> Also, the master of the voiceover, I hear you on everything all the time. Would you be able to give us the honour of? We're not going to pay you for this, by the way. A sort well, of then no. a sort of freshly <laughs> squeezed, but in your obviously in your voice. What do you want me to say? Uh, you're watching freshly squeezed would be amazing. You're watching freshly squeezed. That's incredible. At what point did you discover? Wow, that sounds pretty cool, and I can make a, an enormous amount of money out of I that. I didn't. It was pure accident. I think I annoyed my school friends and sort of college friends by doing it. So I never thought it was any good, do you know what I mean? And then you get paid for it. And I still don't believe, because I don't hear it how you hear it. Right. So for me, it just sounds like... <laughs> but for you, it sounds genius. It sounds incredible to us. Matt 
thank you ever so much for popping in well, today. Well, thank you, my friend. Um, I hope one day to get into the lucrative world of the voiceover, because essentially, okay. from what I understand, it's just money for old ropes. So, yeah, could you give me, could you pass on any uh, techniques to me, anything I could try, perhaps to end the interview, maybe a sort of, thanks, Matt Berry, and then we'll go into a pause, but I'll try and do it in a voiceover right. way. Well, your voice as it stands, you haven't got a chance. Oh, dear. So, you'll have to mime it while yeah. I say it. How's okay. That? That sounds perfect. Okay, uh, I'll give you a little count, count in. Three, two, one. Thanks, Matt Berry. <laughs> that 